All right, hello guys. Um, this is Shalom, and today I want to talk a little bit about purpose. You know, it's something that I strongly believe in, and <clears throat> I believe that's the foundation to all success. I believe that. You know, um, obviously everyone wants to be successful, but I think in order to get the truest form of success in life, you need to understand your purpose in life. Um, your purpose being, uh, you know, what's the reason you exist? You know, um, <clears throat> with dreams and ambition, there are, you know, five questions that I often talk about that I believe every human being is seeking, which are, who am I? What can I do? Where am I from? Where am I going? And why am I here? And these questions are pretty powerful. And uh, I learned these from a mentor. And uh, since then, you know, they've, they've definitely been a core part of my beliefs. And um, I do believe strongly, like I said, in, in the power of purpose because it drives everything you do. <clears throat> Eight years ago, I had this vision for dreams and ambition, which was to bridge my two worlds. As most of you know, I'm born and raised in northern Nigeria and moved to the United States as a teenager. And... You know, since then it's been quite a journey, and these are the experiences I, I tend to share with you guys. And you know, um, I had this vision that you know part of my purpose is to bridge these two worlds and give people better insight from both sides. Um, you know, into my world. And uh, beyond that, help, you know, as many people as possible because, you know, there are needs that my home country has and uh, there are needs that, you know, um, my friends in the States have as well. And so sharing my perspective, um, I believe, will help somebody out there, you know. Um, you have immigrant kids like myself uh, who, who struggle with identity, who struggle with <clears throat> multiple cultures. And oftentimes, all cultures conflict in terms of beliefs, in terms of religion. Um, so sometimes certain foundational beliefs that you have growing up in one country totally contradict what is new place you live in or society you live in, you know, uh, holds to. And those things affect so much about who you are. And that's been my experience, you know, um, really trying to carve your own lane. Like, who, who am I? You know, that's a huge question. So <clears throat> I believe seeking purpose and seeking the reason for your existence, the reason for your experiences, uh, you know, you, you often hear, why, why, why did that happen to me? Or why does this have to happen to me? And um, a lot of things happen to us in life, but there, there's purpose for it. And you have to seek and find your purpose. Um, and it definitely helps in guiding your future, the, where you, where are you going? Um, and under, in order to understand better of your purpose, I found that you know you, you need to answer some of the other questions like where am I from? You know that's a key component um, of your purpose of understanding who you are in order to move forward with purpose, with intention, and that's what I've done. That's what I've been seeking. That's what I've been. Uh, searching and that's what I've been finding you know um, like I said 
being from two different uh, or or being born and raised in one country and then moving to another, um, you, I I do believe part of my purpose is you know um, in that in understanding those worlds differently than than others um, in interpreting certain things. I think that as a black immigrant, it's it's very unique and different and. You know, that allows me to speak to um, black Americans differently from a place of understanding and from a place of experience. Um, but also on, on the, the African continent, also speak to my, my friends and family there to help them understand how things actually work here. Because the, the perceptions are very different, you know. Um, and that's largely due to what's already been fed to others from from people who have no experience. So I'm here talking from real experience from someone who's actually been on both sides and can give insight as to some of that. So that's the perspective I come from. And, uh, you know, um, there are <clears throat> certain traits that. I've always been raised with that, uh, you know, um, I believe are in line with my purpose. Um, and that's true of almost anyone, you know, the, the innate characteristics that you have or have always had growing up as a child to adulthood, um, should give you hints as to part of what your purpose is in life. And so discovering your purpose is, you know, I think it's a process. I think it takes a lot of soul searching. Um, and, you know, I, I've definitely taken quite a bit of time to, to do that and understand uh, my role as a leader, uh, my role as a black immigrant, and someone with a voice, someone with a platform. And so... That's what I'm doing and sharing those with you guys, uh, hopefully will give more insight, will help, you know, the, the foundational things I talk about with dreams and ambition, which are, you know, discipline, dedication, discernment, you know, um, passion, purpose, persistence, and patience, those seven, uh, foundations or pillars, you know, are part of my core philosophy. In, in in discovering yourself and finding your success and uh, you know more, most importantly you know find your purpose and it will drive everything else you know I've definitely gone on this journey with tons of ups and downs you know when I started dreams and ambition in 2010 <clears throat> or at least officially in 2010 I didn't really know it was going to take me through through all of this, but I understand my vision, the big picture, and, you know, often others will not understand your vision, and that's because they, that's, their visions are different, their purpose is different, everyone has a different purpose, you know, um, bees have a specific purpose, fish have a specific purpose, birds have a specific purpose, and it's in you. It's already in you. It's already part of who you are. It's about just bringing it out. You know, um, birds fly naturally, instinctively, because it's part of who they are. Fish swim. It's part of who they are. Uh, who I am is who I am. And part of who I am is understanding my history, my background, um, where I come from, where generations have come from and uh, you know sometimes I, I I do give a unique spin talking to black Americans um, in an effort to also try and help you understand some of your history which hopefully will help you also discover part of your purpose um, so that's why I share the things I do in the way I do and you know what uh, it comes from 
a place of sincerity, a place of empathy. And, you know, I, I, I want to help you. This is my purpose, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I hope I hope that you find yours. I truly hope that you do, because the, the world needs you. You know, the world needs everybody and all of us to find our purpose in life. And I feel like I'm living my purpose. And, uh, you know, the, it's like I said, it's a journey. And, you know, the big vision <clears throat> I have is because of the sense of purpose I, I feel. And, you know, I've worked hard to put together and piece together little nuggets here and there to, to bring together that big vision to life. Uh, and this is part of that process. Uh, sometimes it's very uncomfortable, you know, however, um, when you, when you find purpose, you find purpose and, uh, you go at it with passion. You stay persistent. Um, you often have to be very patient because I said, it's a process. Dreams and ambition so far has been an eight year process. Um, and you know, the discipline to persistently continue, you need that, um, discernment is important to know who and what and where and when, um, and so, yeah, I, I truly hope that you find your purpose in life, um, and I hope we all find our purpose and live passionately um, to bring our visions to life. So um, check out my website, dreamsandambition.org, where I do share more of my philosophies and my beliefs based on my experiences. And I do share quite a bit of insight as to um, my journey uh, as a black immigrant and um, a businessman and an athlete, and, you know, along with all the other gifts that I feel God has blessed me with, which I do feel that each part is a component to uh, my purpose in life. So that's that. I'm Shalom. Um, subscribe and uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. What's your purpose in life?